crystallization is the separation technique that we would need to use if we had a solution. So in this example, I've got here some sugar water. We can tell that it's a solution because you can see through it, it's clear. So that sugar is dissolved in the water, it looks just like water. In order to separate the sugar out of the water again, we could not just pass it through any kind of filter, even if it was a very fine filter, the sugar would always just go with the water through that filter. So the way we need to do it is we need to evaporate that water and then we'd just be left with the solid sugar. The bit of apparatus that we use to do that is this kind of shallow dish which is really good for evaporating things and it's called an evaporating basin. Sometimes it's also called an evaporating dish. So we'd fill that with our solution, not all the way to the top, about halfway. To get that water to evaporate more quickly though, we would want to heat it. So to heat it, we're gonna use a Bunsen burner. So if I show that underneath, when I draw scientific diagrams, I'm just gonna make them really simple. I'm gonna draw them two dimensionally and that makes it a lot clearer to see what it is and a lot easier to draw. I'm drawing single lines and I'm not drawing scribbly lines because again, makes it simpler to draw. So I've just shown here the tripod and between the tripod and the, the evaporating basin, we would need to have either a gauze or a clay pipe triangle, usually a clay pipe triangle. But just so you can see how I spell gauze, I'm going to write gauze this time, G-U-Z-E. And that just holds the evaporating basin on top of the tripod. So we're going to heat it up and that water is going to evaporate and we'll be left with the soluble solid, which is the solute in the evaporating basin. Now, notice we do not get the water by itself in this technique because the water has all just evaporated out and it's now a gas in the air. So this technique is only good if you're trying to get the solid and not the liquid. The other thing I'll say in terms of technique is that if you were to continue heating this all the way until all the water had evaporated, it's bad for two reasons. First of all, as the last of the water evaporates, it would probably cause pieces of the uh, solid, or the, the sugar in this case, to start spitting out. So that would be a bit of a um, safety concern. The other thing that would happen if we let it, if we heated it all the way, is we'd get very fine powder of uh, of the solid. In this case, the sugar. It wouldn't be very good quality crystals. We want to obtain high quality crystals, and the way to do that is to let it evaporate more slowly. So once we'd evaporated, once we'd let half of that water boil, we would then turn off the Bunsen and we'd leave the evaporating basin on the windowsill. And that gives larger crystals of the solid. And that is crystallization.